Welcome to Clown Town, Population Us. Today my friend and I went to Shibuya, so we wanted to do a bit of shopping, and we wanted to try some of the food, and we did not end up doing any of the nightlife, but it was really fun. We ended up going to a little cafe to take some really silly photos. We went on a weekday, so it wasn't super busy. We were going in like the morning, and I didn't expect that many people to be there because I'm used to Los Angeles where nobody can walk on the street because we don't live in a walkable country, but that's okay. It took us a bit to get there by the train, but it was pretty convenient. And honestly, it was kind of a big relief not having to drive and park and worry about gas. So I really wish that we had a metro system in the US, but that's okay because we can just waste our taxes on fixing our roads, I guess. The downtown area was really overwhelming, honestly. There were so many buses that would be playing music or were advertising like different games or I guess shows. And so it was just sort of like an overload on the senses because there was all the bright billboards, the screens, the signs on the side of the road, depending on which road you went down. And then during the crosswalks, it was one of the, I guess, scramble crosswalks. And there were just so many people when we were on the way back because it was about the time that people were getting out of work. Um, really overwhelming. Thankfully, we didn't get lost, so that was okay. I've been barely scraping by on the limited Chinese that I know. Um, if I didn't know any Chinese characters, I I don't think I'd be able to handle it. I don't know enough to read, and I feel really bad for the service workers who were trying to talk to me while I was trying to buy stuff. Um, I just I tried to get them the money that they needed and say thank you and then go because that was unfortunate. But they were all polite, I assume. Like they were very polite, even though I was struggling, and my friend was the one that was doing most of the translating. So yeah, after we got off the train, we were in Shibuya proper downtown. We didn't really have to do any walking, like we were just right in the middle of it. Um, we decided to take some photos again, so we picked a couple spots for photographs, and then we ended up going into sort of a very vertical shopping mall. It was kind of like, almost like a tower. So it was like a tower style of mall, and there were a few shops on each level, but there were like six or seven levels I think so there were like six or seven floors and I had a couple things I wanted to get so I did get a little bit of cosmetics I got some clothes spent too much money but whatever went in Rome we saw a bunch of um we saw a bunch of like questionably put together English which I'm totally okay with I think it's great I love that that they're utilizing and expressing themselves with the English language because god knows we have a ton of brands and like advertisements and stuff in the US where it's just like gibberish Japanese or, or Chinese characters. So that's fair. It was really entertaining for me. Um, I, I think I took a video of some of it. So there was like one with just the description, the stats of a tiger and I really liked it. I almost got it, but it was kind of expensive. There was a ton in Shibuya 109 for fashion. And a lot of uh, alternative fashion, so I really, really wanted to buy out, like, an entire store. But um, nothing fits on me there, so that's really awkward. I didn't realize that apparently, um, in comparison, I'm relatively tall. So I, I'm relatively tall. I have relatively broad shoulders. And over there, that's not... I don't think that's standard... Um, I also, in comparison, even in America, I have very large hands, I have very large feet. So that became an issue because we saw this, oh my god, it was so, it was so cute, I wanted to cry. There was a shoe store and there were so many boots and like alternative, just like very, very slay, very slay shoes and boots. And I could not fit into a single one, like not a single one. The highest size that they have is a Europe 41. And that, I think, is, like, a size 8, maybe. And they didn't even, they didn't even have, they didn't have sizes or half sizes. It was just small, medium, large, and then large, large. And I was like, who are you fooling with large, large? Like, this is average in America. Like, shut up. Whatever. It's okay. It's not for me. It made me sad, but I literally could not fit into the boots. And I didn't record that because 
you don't need to see that for free. But yeah, there were some really nice like longer boots and then there were some other styles of like clogs and pumps. So like platform shoes and I really wanted platform shoes and I've wanted that style for a while, but your girl isn't fitting into that. Um, really don't want to discuss my feet too much, but they're too wide. They're essentially like men's feet, but on a woman. So that was really awkward. The sole, like the insole of the largest size, LL, large, it was a big L for me, but it's very thin, especially in the center. This doesn't make any sense. So especially in the center, it's very thin. And even like the, the front of the shoe is very small. It's very narrow. And there's no way like width wise I can fit plus on top of like the, the general like length of the shoe. So that was tragic, but whatever, I'll live. The other issue was that a lot of the shirts, because I'm kind of long, I mean, um, but I'm kind of tall, so all of the clothes lengthwise, like, oops, sorry neighbor, um, does that, that's not really, I'll put up a picture or something, but lengthwise, they all come up to maybe my rib or they're a crop top even though they're not supposed to be a crop top and then for my arms even in the united states um sometimes clothes like it's not it doesn't reach my wrist or it will fit my torso but it won't be long enough in the arms and that's even more exaggerated here so there's a lot where it just looks like i'm wearing children's clothing so you know kind of a bust for some of the clothes but the ones that i did get I think are really cute and I think they'll fit though sometimes I do also have issues um, getting bottoms from Asia over my hips my hip bones you know it happens so yeah that was a little difficult but I'm hoping because the skirt I picked has a zipper and it's got shorts under it so it was kind of nice and then it also has a, um, like elastic in the back so I'm really hoping that it fits because I spent a decent amount on it but I think it will I think it will but we'll see we'll see later maybe I'll try it on I definitely want to try styling them because I really like the stuff that I got <laughs> I'm not, I'm lost. <laughs>